I'm from the Timmins camp where sometimes, you know, like they've been mining for a hundred years. So even if you see a head frame, you're drilling within miles of it because it's like hope. Well, it started in 96 here, like uh, for prospecting, me and my wife. I just started following the old prospectors' paths and I could actually find their rock picks and their hammers actually all on these trails. Everything else was using it, the wolves and the bears and the moose. Prospecting, I actually drove my old boat over 100 miles south of Dawson along the Yukon River to almost the mouth of this Thistle Creek. But the, and we we're trying to follow these old, old rumors from the turn of the century. And there's placer gold in every creek. And on the road that goes in between both creeks, literally, uh, we found a quartz vein system that actually had a bunch of visible gold. And that was kind of my aha moment when I looked around the countryside and said, like, where is everybody? So when I made that discovery, that's when I knew, well, if it's sitting on surface, there must be more of these things hidden up here. And then that was kind of the launch. This we're sitting on, basically I call this like ground zero for the white hole gold district and how, where it all started. So this is the white property and we're actually up on the golden saddle. And this is where we started our first prospecting basically pretty well 20 years ago, it was very close to here. But the uniqueness of this is we're standing on the deposit. Over the next two years, we'll make it to that two million ounce mark for the Igniko economics they're looking for. I'm a mushroom picker. <laughs> I know where to pick mushrooms. <laughs>